are no approved drugs for this indication. So from that standpoint, I think it's hard to call anything standard therapy. This is a unmet need in many ways. Uh, part of the reason is that this has always been a local disease treated with local therapies like surgery and radiation. But there is a fraction of patients in whom there are regional recurrences and distant metastases where drug therapy does become relevant and important. There are um, several drugs that we use that can be effective in chordoma. Um, some of them are targeted towards many of the things that are upregulated on chordoma tumors. Um, EGFR inhibitors is one class of drugs. PDGFR inhibitors are another class of drugs. Um, Gleevec is probably the most famous of them and has been used uh, for the last several years. More recently, erlotinib has been used, which is a drug approved for lung cancer that has uh, shown some efficacy preclinically and in patients. And so as we look for uh, drugs that can treat our patients that aren't necessarily in the setting of a clinical trial, those are some of the things that we'll use. My personal opinion is that we don't have any drugs that are effective enough. Uh, and so that's why we're looking for drugs that are more effective. There are certainly drugs that we use, like imatinib and erlotinib, uh, where we've seen some minimal evidence of clinical activity. Uh, and because there are no other good options, they're commonly used uh, as the best possible uh, drug. Science is advancing. I think we are learning a lot more about the cellular aspects, the molecular aspects, what pathways are activated, what is upregulated, downregulated. And then there is this immunotherapy area. I think it's hot in oncology in general. There is good reason for the enthusiasm. There are some newer drugs, newer pathways in immunotherapy that have been promising in several different tumor types. Uh, whether that would help the patients with chordomas or not remains to be proven. Recent advances in chordoma research have prompted clinical trials that will test new drugs which may be more effective than currently available treatments. The Cordoma Foundation's Medical Advisory Board recommends that patients with advanced or recurrent chordoma consider participating in clinical trials whenever possible.